Hey what's up everybody it's Dallas with GadgetX and today I'm going to show you 7 cool things you can do with Android's developer options menu. Now if you're like me you probably just enabled developer options so that you can turn on USB debugging and use ADB. Maybe you poked around a little bit but you really didn't get into all the cool things that this menu can do for you. So basically I'm going to take you through some of the cooler things that you can do with developer options. Now to get this going, you obviously will have to have developer options enabled, which means you need to go to settings, about device, and then tap the build number entry seven times in rapid succession. But once you've done all that, just head to the developer options menu, and the first one I wanted to show you is this process stats entry. This is basically just like the battery meter interface on your phone, except it's for RAM usage. So you can see which apps have been using the most RAM and how your phone has been managing its memory. To see more details, you can just tap an app and it'll tell you more about how much it's used RAM. You can also tap this graph here up at the top and it'll tell you more about your device's RAM usage. Then the next developer option that you might want to check out is called Force RTL Layout. Basically this one just switches everything to a right to left layout. So now everything on your phone from the notification shade to any app on your system will actually be reversed and you can still read it though so it's a pretty cool layout. The next up is actually two different options. These are both animation scale durations. You can adjust the window and transition animation scale to be higher or lower. You want to speed up the different transitions that you have on your system. Now for instance if you set this to 10x you can see that the animations take way longer. But if you decided to take this to 0 or 0.25x you would start noticing that everything feels a lot snappier, so it's definitely worth checking out. Then the next interesting developer option is Force GPU Rendering. This actually uses hardware acceleration from your graphics processor to help render 2D objects, so it might help if your phone has been performing kind of sluggishly in certain apps. The next up is a pretty interesting little toggle switch that you can find down here towards the bottom that says Show CPU Usage. Basically what this does is overlay your usage stats for your CPU as you're using the phone. So it's on the fly and you can really put your phone to the test using this, see how it performs under certain situations. Then another similar overlay is just beneath that in developer options called GPU Rendering Profile. This will tell you stats about your graphics processor instead of your regular processor. So set this one to show on screen as bars and then while you're using your phone you can see how your graphics are being handled. Then finally this last one will help if your phone doesn't have a lot of RAM. So if that process stats entry was showing you very high usage, you might want to try this out. Head to this limit background processes option, then you can actually set the amount of background processes that are allowed to run. So if you want to go lower, let's say two or one process at most, that means that only one or two apps can run in the background and eat up RAM. So there's a lot of useful stuff in this developer options menu and it's certainly worth checking out. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over at GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.